sixth graders, this is to help you with question three on CR 32. It says, which problem is solved with the equation five times x equals 20? So that's important. You have to know that's a multiplication. So let's look at letter A and let's just try each. A triangle has a perimeter of 20. Two of the sides measure five units. How long is the third side? So if they're telling us two of the sides measure five units, it's a five, that's a five, and they're telling you you don't know the measure of the third side, you could call that third side x. Perimeter means you have to add all those together and then come up with 20. So for this one, it would be five plus five plus x equals 20. That would be the equation for this one. Or five plus five is 10 plus x equals 20. Well, that's certainly not what they have here. Let's skip on to letter B. It says a rectangle has an area of 20 square units. That means the area inside is 20 units squared or square units. It says the width is five units. What is the length? It says I don't know the length. Well, you have to know the formula for the area of a rectangle is length times width. So your area is 20 square units equals your length is x times they give you your width of 5. So you start saying, huh, is that the same equation? Well, it actually is. We could rewrite this 20 equals x times 5. I could write as 5 times x based on my commutative property. So that gives me 20 equals 5 times x. I can just write as 5x. And it's okay, you can reverse this equation based on now the reflexive property and write 5x equals 20. So that actually is letter B. Let's see what letter C would be. A cyclist, a, oh, a circle. Sorry, I, my eye skipped down to the next part. A circle has a radius of 5. So I'm just giving you a picture. A radius of 5, what is the area? All right, well, for the area of a circle, area equals pi times the radius squared. So if we don't know the area, it would look like x equals pi times 5 squared. And there's no pi anywhere up there. That doesn't have a shot. A cyclist wants to ride her bike 20 miles a day for five days. How far will she travel? Okay, so she's riding 20 miles a day over five days. If you take 20 miles each day and you do that for five days, 20 times 5 would give me x. So that's what letter D would look like. It's definitely B. I hope that helps.